The Mathura district seems to be one of the most affected areas in the country with more than 64,000 people being affected by the prevailing showery conditions in the district. Now, a special meeting on disaster management to provide relief to the people who have been affected by these uh, showery conditions was held earlier this morning as well at the Mathura district secretariat. The highest rainfall of 116 millimetres was reported from Pitabadar in Mathara during the 18-hour window that ended at 3 a.m. today. According to News First correspondent, Ihala Vitivala in Kamburu Pitiya Mathara was completely inundated after the Nilwala River overflowed today. Sri Lanka Army took measures to cover the Atturava Band last night due to the risk of large flood barriers in the Nilwala River bursting. <laughs> Commander of the Sri Lanka Army, Lieutenant General Vikumli Anagay, visited Mathura today and inspected the flood affected areas. <laughs> According to News First correspondents, main and by roads in Pudava and Nadugula have been completely inundated. People affected by floods are currently seeking refuge at the Mathura Central College. Water levels at the Thudava water pumping station in Matra have increased. The Kumbalgama Rasandenia Road and Balaskala Radampala Road have been completely inundated. According to our correspondent, the Paradua and Athreli areas have been inundated as well. A mound of earth had collapsed near the Kanathagora crematorium in Mathara. People living in inundated areas say that stepping out of their houses is extremely dangerous as crocodiles roam in the floodwaters. <laughs> Residents of Kadua in Mathara who have been severely battered by floods are temporarily seeking shelter at the Sri Vardhana Ramaya. Officers from the Malimbara Divisional Secretariat, Sri Lanka Life Saving, Sarvodaya, the Asia Pacific Alliance for Disaster Management or APAD and the Disaster Management Centre visited the flood affected people through boats. They use small vessels to transport food. When travelling in those small boats, they do not wear protective gear. Regular people use them to transport food. There are safety concerns. The Nilwala River is the border of the Kaddua Gramaniladari Division. So far, three crocodiles have been spotted. There's a risk like that as well. These organizations provided relief items to people in flood affected areas. Many Sri Lanka Army vehicles were deployed to monitor the disaster struck areas and to rescue people trapped by floods. The Med Department has issued an advisory for heavy showers across multiple areas in the country. Now, the Med Department predicts that the showery conditions in the southwestern part of the country is likely to continue due to the low level atmospheric disturbance. Showers or thunder showers will occur at uh, some places in the western, 
the Sabragamu and the Southern Provinces and in the Kandy and Noorelia districts in the Central Province. Now, fairly heavy showers above 100 millimeters are likely at some places in the Western, Southern and Sabragamu provinces.